now then. I just managed to get onto a test session before iRacing went down again, so I thought I'd make a quick video about the Nordschleife and the new build. I just jumped on to check out the new track, but actually the changes to the build turned out to be more interesting. It's dramatically different. Um, I think it's mainly due to the audio, but there seems to be some change in the physics. Um, so I decided to just drive really hard and uh, turn traction control off and make the car move around a bit. It's immediately noticeable that the the sound of the tyre slip is a lot more pronounced. In fact, where I used to have to turn the tyre audio slider right the way up, now I've had to turn it down because it's it's almost a bit exaggerated now. But it, it just goes to show how much of an effect that has. It seems to give you the sensation that the tyres feel a lot nicer now. Perhaps they do, and there is some subtle physics change, but I think it's mainly in the sound. So, yeah, I just chuck it around a bit and uh, generally drive like an idiot. So, enjoy. I'm in the roof track car because I drove it a lot last season, so I can remember exactly how it felt. I'll make another video with the new McLaren uh, once the servers come back up. sure what needs to be said really. Incredible attention to detail but also a testament to the efforts that Kunos did with their version as well because if you've learnt the track on a set of Corsa then it'll all be very familiar here. They both seem incredibly accurate and incredibly similar. Um, it seems like iRacing has the edge in terms of surface detail coming back through the force feedback. And I think the lighting is a bit more natural on iRacing as well, despite the age of the engine. And occasionally you'll see the landscape roll off into the distance and there's a lot more detail there as well.
Yep. Just about kept it away from the wall there. Disastrous. have the mirrors turned off because performance was really pretty terrible with them turned on. I imagine this is by far the most demanding track that iRacing have ever made. So I dread to think what it'll be like with 60 cars on track, but we'll wait and see. It's fantastic. Of course it's fantastic. 